Hi, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's Simon here at Vans today in Worcester, and I'm here to give you a video walk around of this 2018 on an 18 plate. Uh, it is the Peugeot Expert 1.6 HDI 115 brake horsepower, which means it gets the six speed manual gearbox. Uh, and it is the professional model, which is their kind of top of the range model that everybody wants, basically. Um, this is a two keeper from new vehicle. We previously supplied it to the second keeper and have just taken it back in part exchange. Um, it has now covered 108,000 miles. Um, there is a service history to the vehicle that does include a cam belt on it as well. Um, and overall, it's in pretty good condition. Now, for those of you that haven't watched any of our videos before, the purpose of the videos is to give you a warts and all video walk around of the van so you get an idea of exactly what it is that you're buying and then you can make that informed decision whether this is the van for you or not. So let's get going on that, shall we? Now we're gonna start up here on the roof. Excuse the blossom. The trees at work are going ballistic at the moment, but they haven't run it with any roof rack on it. So all looking very straight and tidy at the top there. As we move down onto the windscreen, the windscreen is in good overall condition. There are no major stone chips or cracks to worry about. Down onto the bonnet and the bonnet and front of the vehicle are all in good condition as well. Your front grills, front of the front bumper, everything's looking very neat and tidy. Around to the passenger side headlamp unit, that's all good. Now this particular model is fitted with the automatic headlamps as well. And down onto the uh, front bumper corner and you do have a minor scratch in the black plastic that you can see there probably highlighted more in the iPhone, iPhone camera than it is by the naked eye. And then if we look down the side profile of the van, hopefully you can see there's a nice mirror finish to the paintwork. It's, uh, it's got some luster to it, and there's a word, a bit of luster to the paintwork for you there, okay? Um, no major dents or dings to point out to you, pretty straight and tidy down the side there. Um, around to the driver's side, driver's side headlamp unit, that's all good driver's side front bumper corner again that's all good no heavy scuffing and looking down the side profile of the van from this angle also a nice uh, gleaming finish to the driver's side of the vehicle as well no major dents or dings to point out to you on that side either now driver's side front wing with side repeaters all looking good driver's side front steel wheels in surprisingly good condition we have a folder tire on there and that tire has plenty of tire tread depth as you can see there the mirror unit on this side all in good order the mirror itself is all good driver's side door glass that's all looking good as well have a look at your alignment of your driver's door to your wing and your sliding door and you can see everything aligns up as you'd expect it to driver's side door handle and locker looking good Driver side door edges, again, a couple of minor touch-ins, um, but all looking pretty good to be fair. Get down low, check out your lower seals. Lower seals, overall good condition. They have just slightly caught it here though. Okay, so there's a little bit of damage there, which should be fairly easily smart repairable to be fair. Your sliding door on this side, Again, overall good condition now because it has had slam locks on it. There are some minor little touch-ins here. I don't know whether you can see those. Uh, obviously where they've swung the keys to open it, it's just chipped it slightly. Uh, we have touched it in, but they could be done slightly better to be fair. Upper quarter this side, that's all looking good. And then your lower quarter and arch on this side are also in pretty good condition as well. Driver side rear steel wheel. We have a, another budget tire on there. Steel wheel itself is in pretty good order and the tire itself has plenty of tire tread depth. Looking down the side profile from the rear to the front, just another viewpoint of it, but she all looks pretty respectable, doesn't she? And let's give you the side shot. There you go. All nice and dandy. Right, driver's side, rear bumper corner, all good, no scuffs. Now there are some corrosion on the rear door hinges. This is a common fault on this type of van, because as you see, they stick out slightly. And in the winter, a bit of salt in there. Um, they're galvanized, so they don't really go any worse than what you see there. Uh, rear light unit, that's in good order, no damage. Upper hinge is all pretty good to be fair. And around to the back of the vehicle, you've got rear barn doors on a 50-50 split. 
as you can see those are in overall good condition no major damage now we do have additional security locks on the back end of the vehicle so you've got slam locks uh, on the back end of the vehicle uh, high level brake lights all looking good alignment of the doors and the door edges as i bring the camera down there's a couple of touch-ins to do lower down but overall not too bad and your rear bumper as you can see has your rear reflector all present and correct it does have factory reverse parking sensors on there as well uh, little bits of wear and tear on there um, but it's not too bad now what have i done with the keys i bet you've left them in the ignition haven't i yes i have so and then i'll need those in a second when i'm showing you the inside right i digress um right passenger side passenger side all looking pretty fine and dandy as well passenger side rear light unit that's all good upper door hinge looking good a little bit of corrosion on that lower door hinge rear bumper corners all looking good passenger side upper rear quarter that's all good passenger side lower rear quarter with the fuel flap here you see there you go lockable fuel flap uh, all good and then your passenger side uh steel wheel all looking good you do have a uh, a run, f um, run flat a budget i should say on there but plenty of tire tread depth on there for you sliding door on this side again overall not too bad we have dodgy touch in there to be fair looks like it's been done by tipex but uh, it, it hasn't um and your lower seals those are in good condition uh, black protective strips not too bad passenger side doors all looking good door glass that's looking good door handles are all good uh, mirror unit with, uh, with mirrors all good and then the passenger side front wing all looking good factory steel wheel on the front not in bad order folder tire on there so that matches your other axle and there's plenty of tire tread depth on there now security locks you put the key in slide the door back like that that slides back nicely now your entry seals and plastics uh, entry seals not in bad condition nice and clean your sliding door rubbers are present and correct and in good order as well uh, your uh, black uh, plastic step does have some marks on it and your rear bulkhead as you can see it does have the opening hatch which gives you additional load length through to underneath your passenger seat Bulkhead's not in bad order, to be fair, as is the ceiling. And then there's the internal of your rear doors. And those aren't in bad condition, are they? Let's face it. Ply lining inside isn't in bad condition. The floor, there's a couple of minor marks on the floor. But to be fair, your floor can always get enhanced by a bit of, um, of grey garage floor paint. Completely transforms your ply lining. Uh, anyway, uh, Passenger side door card, clean and tidy. Your door bins are clean and tidy. Your door shuts, as you can see, those are all in good order as well. Your entry seals and plastics are in good condition. There is your add blue filler, because obviously this is a Euro 6 engine, so all good for the emission zones. Flooring inside, all good. Bonnet release, I'll show you under there in a second. We have glove box in there with your book packing top of the glove box all good you do have passenger airbag you have a cup holder there we have a bit of additional storage on the top there as well uh, headlining inside's all nice and then just show you your passion the passenger seat trim and as you can see that's in overall clean tidy condition now let's show you a couple of things underneath here is additional storage armrest all pretty good and then where's your blue tab see the blue tab down here pull that that flips your seat up that way and then you've got when you've got your hatch open there it enables you to get um, whatever you need to shove through the bulkhead basically show you under the bonnet so underneath the bonnet here everything is all clean and tidy so there's your coolant correct color coolant for this engine no contamination in it there's your windscreen wash there is your oil filler there orange dipstick there fuse box over here battery there as well but as you can see it's done a job under here but everything's looking clean and tidy and then 
passenger door card, sorry, driver's door card. As you can see, that's clean and tidy. I have just, um, that's a bit of uh, petals and that's the paper mats that I've just screwed up and thrown in the door pocket there. Um, entry seals and plastics this side, not bad. Flooring this side, not in bad condition either. Sometimes you see those quite heavily hold. Paddle rubbers are good. Drive side seat base, not in bad condition either. Uh, where is the key? So, it's just to run you through the controls. We have electric windows, electric mirrors over here. We have headlamp levelers over here. Interior alarm sensor over here as well. 108,670 miles, as you can see. Yeah. Oh, I missed the glam light. Fire it up. I have. And the instrument binnacle, as you can see, is clean and tidy. There's no excessive dust there. Your steering wheel, all good. No excessive wear or tear on the steering wheel either. Volume controls and search controls and telephone controls here. Auto lights, button on the end there will run you through your computer system on the center of the dash there. We have auto lights and, uh, or I've already said auto wipers. We have cruise control with speed limiter on that stalk as well. Um, really pretty cool and handy uh, head unit on these things. So gives you various different options to play around with uh, on the vehicle. Um, obviously we have DAB, FM, AM uh, and Bluetooth telephone and Bluetooth music. If you plug in your telephone lead into the USB point down here, then you also get uh, Apple CarPlay, Mirrorlink and Android Auto. Uh, obviously your normal bass, treble, fade, balance controls and all sorts of various different settings on here that you can play around with as well. The God-given right of air conditioning is also available in this van. We have electronic stability program here, hazard warning lights, interior alarm sensors, oh sorry, uh, central locking for the rear of the vehicle, central locking for the whole vehicle. There's a USB power, there's another 12 volt power there as well. Six speed manual gearbox, reverse gear is all the way to the left and then forward and then that operates your part distance display on there as well. You get a rear view mirror to look at yourself as you're driving along because you don't have a rear window, let's face it. Up here you have your interior um, lights and uh, whatnot, sensors. In between your seats you can see it's clean and tidy, there's no old McDonald's down there or anything. And top of your dashboard as you can see is all in good order as well. Uh, and that my friends is about it. Now, um, it's a good workhorse, it's a great spec van. Uh, it's had the all important cam belt done on it. Um, it is the 1600 Euro 6 engine with the six speed gearbox as well. Uh, two keepers as I've already mentioned. And overall I think you'll see it's in pretty good condition. Yes, it's done a job. Uh, yes, there's minor little bits and pieces on it. Um, but for the age of the vehicle and the mileage, I think it's in uh, above average condition really uh, for, what the, uh, for what job it's done. Uh, now there are 60 odd photos of this van on our website. Our website is vanstoday.com. We are Vans Today Worcester based in the centre of the country, offering you nationwide delivery, part exchange and finance. Uh, feel free to give us a call on 01905 672 080 or email us sales at vanstoday.com. Now, if you're worried about who you're buying off, check out our reputation online. I think most importantly, we have reviews on Google. We're also on Trust uh, Pilot. We are also have a presence on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram. And you're watching this video on our YouTube channel. So like and subscribe for all of our latest videos of our latest purchases. And thank you very much, my friends. There's nearly 14 minutes of your life you're never going to get back there. But if you are interested in this van, it gives you an honest description of exactly what it is that you're buying. Uh, and there you go. Uh, feel free to give us a bell with any queries. Thanks for watching. Speak to you later. Bye.